Terry Rico, I'm a saddle maker. Give you a little history. I grew up riding. My granddad was an outfitter, so we always had horses and leather work to do. Also did a lot of buckarooing growing up. Started tooling leather about at the age of eight. Been doing that all my life. Always interested in good gear. Took good gear to get your job done and be comfortable and be good for you and your horse. I started spending summers in cow camps when I was about eight years old and got to do a lot of riding. Eventually, by the time I got into high school at, at 16, I built my first saddle and I got to try it out. So you learn real fast what you like and what you don't like. So. I built saddles all I could through those years and and did a lot of riding. Buckarooed a lot and packed and guided. Got to try everything I made and got to use it hard. And as years went by, I would build saddles in the winter and ride the rest of the year. And I was lucky enough to get acquainted with some good old saddle makers like Bob Kelly. He, he worked for Ray Holes for many years. And in his later years, I got acquainted with him and worked for him, made saddles for him, and learned an awful lot. Bob was a fan of the old Visalia-style saddles, and I always was, too. I studied the Visalias and Garcias, the old Hamley saddles, Ray Holes saddles. I, I, I took something from all of them, and with Bob, I got a lot of really good instruction good patterns. He helped me out a lot. He was an awful good man. Another good saddle maker I learned a lot from was a friend of Bob's. but His name was Ben Terrell. He'd worked for Ray Holes and he'd worked for Hamleys. Ben was the man that showed me how to how to make form fitter Hamley saddles. <laughs> That's kind of a lost art. So consequently when I went to work for Hamleys for a few years I got to be the guy that made the form fitters because I heard he knew how and nobody else wanted to do it. Now I ran out of stuff to say.